Okay. Hi, I'm Phil Lee. I'm with uh, Norman Dean Dodge of uh, Business and Industry here at Seward County Community College. And even though it's summertime, there are plenty of classes going on at BNI. And the great thing about BNI is that, or you know, Sioux County Community College is that we're not just academics. We're just out a lot of different classes going on. So it gives you quite the alternative going in. Um, how's it going today, Norm Jean? It's going well, thank you for asking. Okay, so we've got, like I said, we've got plenty of classes and actually it's soon and you've got a ton of classes already that has happened and are coming up already, right? Um, exactly. You've got, I think like three or four classes coming up on Thursday, no less. Yes, Thursday we have our basic art of cookie decorating class. This is one of our popular classes. Uh, Julie Veenster will be doing a class highlighting Father's Day, which is coming up on Sunday. So if you are interested in making cookies and possibly sharing them with your dad, <laughs> if it makes it that far to Father's Day, um, we'd love you to join us tomorrow night from six to nine. The cost is $40 and that includes your cookies and your icing and all the materials you need to ice your cookies. And it's just a great um, class to people. We've had people come together. They'll invite a friend. They'll invite maybe their daughter or granddaughter. Um, so if you do have a child you want to bring with you, please call us so we can. Right now we're accepting them 12 and up, but they do have to be accompanied by a parent or a grandparent so, or some adult. And then we do have some paperwork for anyone under 18. Now, uh, do you have a lot of room for that class? Or do you, is it limited? Um, we still it have room. Um, we Right now, the room that we're in, we only can take 12, but we still have room in there. So if anyone is interested, they can give us a call. Right. And if there, and you said it's a pretty popular class. So if you guys need something to do on a Thursday night, you know, this is a great way to sort of get together with uh, people who sort of enjoy uh, making cookies and decorating and it gets a chance to do a lot of different things. Now, the cookies themselves are, are already pre made, correct? Yes, they're already made. And all we do is ice them. Um, great in product. We always get to get pictures of them. And I think people get jealous and say, I wish I would have taken the class. So, don't, don't wish, just get in the class and have fun with a group of people. Yep, and it's only $40. And how many cookies do you get to decorate? You get half a dozen, so six of them. Okay, yep. great. And they're like pretty big cookies too, right? Yes, they are. They're a really good size. Uh, and from what I've heard, I've not been in the class, but I heard they're very delicious cookies. So, <laughs> And I okay. like icing, so that's probably the part I, I would eat. Uh, I'm an icing person, so. You just lick off the icing, the great. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, what else do we have going on? That's the um, class tomorrow. On Monday, um, we have a wills and estates class that will be in the evening. It's only $10, and what a great way to spend your time and resources um, to come and visit with a local attorney. Um, Jim Dodge will be talking about uh, what things you should be um, looking into when you're, when you're going to get have your will set or you're working with estates and trusts. And he spends that time going over information and then he opens it for questions and answers. And I think just besides the information he provides, a lot of people really enjoy the question answer portion as well, that they have them there and they can ask a bunch of different questions that they had in mind before coming to the class. And again, it's only $10. That's one of the classes that um, is an option to Zoom as well if you don't want to come in person. But I think more, more and more we have people that are wanting to get out and be in the classroom. So if you are interested, we do ask that you register for that class uh, no later than noon on Monday so we can make sure we have all the handouts printed for the course. Yeah, it's something that people sort of don't want to think about. I know I certainly don't want to, but you know, we always ask about what's going on in our future and such and how important it is. And if you don't have a will or an estate or you know, figuring stuff out or figuring how to probate, it, it could be an absolute mess. And, yeah, I, um, I think a lot of us think we've got time, we've got time, and we just don't know when that time's going to, where it may be you don't have that time now. And so let's not put our family in that situation and let's get everything taken care of. So in case something unfortunately like that happens sooner than we were expecting. Right, and I think especially when we've gone through COVID, I think that that's exactly what we mm -hmm. sort of go through. It's like, uh, what if, and we don't know. And I think that COVID itself, has sort of, you know, made us realize that, you know, nothing's, for, nothing's forsaken, nothing's for sure. So you should really need to go ahead and prepare. And for $10 and going into asking questions and getting some, you know, questions out over there, gee, it sort of is a lot cheaper than actually going into the attorney's office yeah. and sitting down and setting up over there. And so while, you know, you can't get the will or anything done over there, they can ask you questions and get you in the right direction. 
and it's just really as um, as valuable as you, you can be, you know, for, like I said, for ten dollars to get all those questions. And how long does the uh, class last? It is two hours, but um, usually he's done within the hour and a half, hour and fifteen, depending on the questions are asked in between the class, uh, in between each slide. And then he's here. Sometimes I would say it's two hours, but there's times he's home later because they've had more questions for him. But that's the time allotted for the class is two hours. Okay. And where's the class? It's here at the Industrial Tech Campus and um, right next door to my office. So we'll send them a link and stuff to the campus. So once they register, I always send them an email confirmation letting them know, hey, we're excited you're joining us and this is where your class will be. Right. And that's Monday, right? What time? Monday, it begins at six o'clock. Okay, great. All right, what else? Um, also next week, we have a class called Painting Sunshine. Um, it is a painting class and so they're going to paint a sunflower. Kareem Gayo has taught some painting classes already for us. And so if you love to paint or maybe just are very creative and want to do something like that and join a group of painters, um, that class begins at six o'clock on Wednesday, the 23rd, and it's only $35. And that includes your supplies, your paint and your canvas. And you just come out and have fun. Again, that's one of those classes where we've had groups of people come and just have um, fun painting and laughing and just having a conversation with other people in that class. Yeah, I think that's great. I, you know, that, that's great to just come on over and sort of relax and just sort of be creative. There's no pressure for you to do like these great, you know, Picasso's or Van Gogh's or, you know, Andrew Witt's, but uh, you can just be yourself and paint, you know, um, paint, paint your flower and it's all in, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, right? Yeah, I love to see everybody's different style. When they did that night of Frida, it was really neat to see all the different um, ways people painted her. So, mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. And that is Wednesday at 6, you said? Yes, Wednesday at 6 o'clock, and it goes till 9. I think the last time we offered a painting class, Sarah said it went right up to 9. Some people maybe stayed a little bit over, but it's set for three hours. And that's $35. And Correct. all supplies, canvas, and you get to keep the artwork too. Yep, artwork to put up on your office or in your home or just give away as a present. <laughs> there you go. All right, what else we got? Um, we have a forklift safety training class. So if you mm -hmm. are a company that has forklift drivers, um, this is a great opportunity to get them in the um, training room and just either um, go over those skills or maybe they have not had the training yet then you, they can come and join us on the June 24th from eight to five. And the cost for that is $75. And then we'll provide them with a card saying they've been through the training. And typically with that class, it's in every three years, they ask you to go back and do the training again, just to make sure you still know what you need to do. It's kind of like they, with the car, you walk around and do stuff that they'll do that too. The first four hours is instructional. And then the last, um, half of the day we'll spend on the forklift. They'll teach you about inspections, things you need to look for to make sure that the forklift is safe to drive. And then they will drive the forklift. I know we've had people in the past that have never driven one. That's okay. Our instructor will help you with that and train you on that portion as well. And that so one again, Go ahead. Right, so it's not just a refresher class, it's also first timers as well. Yes, first time, because I've had people constantly, I'm really scared, I've never driven one. I said, that's okay, Sherry's been doing this. I've been here, um, this is my, I'm starting my 11th year and Sherry's been teaching here before that. And so she's got a lot of experience and able to help them feel comfortable and ready to drive that forklift. And that again is also at the industrial tech school? Yes, that one will be here as well. And okay, and what day is that again? That is Thursday, June the 24th and um, eight to five. $75. Okay. And, right. And if any individual or if any companies need yes. need to know people who need to who need a little refreshment or want to hire people who need to drive a forklift, by all means, uh, come down to this class and, you know, you can get it and learn it that day, correct? Yes. And we've had a variety of different people. We've had people that are wanting to put that on their resume and are not employed yet. And so they do that. We've had employers send people because they want to make sure they're um, certified and uh, well, get the training for that class as well. So um, if you are any in any of those boats, just give us a call and we'll get you signed up. All right, okay, what's next? We have Sarah um, Thompson has taught a barn quilt painting class for us before. This one's gonna be a little bit different. She's doing one where it can actually go on your house with an address on there. So it'll be a little bit smaller, but it'll be visible enough that someone can read your address and it'll have a nice piece of artwork. 
So if you are interested in doing a barn quilt painting, um, again, Sarah Thompson will be that on Saturday. Um, that is June 26th. And that class is a little bit longer and it does take pretty much the whole time. It's eight to one. And all we ask is they bring frog tape with them, a yardstick and uh, a blow dryer to help get the process to dry quicker. And if Sarah will have the paints and the boards, but sometimes people have specific paints in mind. So if you have something specifically that you want to make sure your board looks like that you bring those with you. And again, you know, that's actually one of the classes that I've actually, you know, gone to and actually took a uh, look at and it's just so much fun. You have all these ladies coming in and or people and basically they're just painting and having such a great time and it's so meticulous for them and yeah. they're just so into it and again you have Sarah over there who is basically guiding them to what to do but I mean a lot of it just sort of goes of where they're the person's creativity goes from there and I think that you know now you have something more specific with an address I think that's even better because now you can sort of represent your house or how you feel about it. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to see because every time, again, that's one of the classes we get the pictures and we put them on our social media pages and to see all the different creativity, the different things that people come up with. I think one year there was like a pretty cool fish looking uh, on the board. So anything that they, their mind has kind of gotten in what they have in mind to do and just put that up there. And so it's their call what they want to do. And again, as I said, if they have different colors in mind, please bring those with them. Yeah, definitely. And again, you know, it's all about having fun and being patient and, you know, and Sarah's great at that. Yeah. Okay, what else? Um, we also have at the end of the month an Outlook class. So if you um, use Outlook at your office or maybe you're looking for employment and that's one of the things that say um, Microsoft products. And so they probably use Outlook for their email system. Um, that would be a great source of training, but um, Outlook does so much other than just send emails. It takes um, care of your to-do list. Um, you can put on there your um, contacts is a great thing where you can put people in groups so you can always send that same group an email. Um, just like yesterday, I had some emails I wanted to send out, but I didn't want them to go out till today in the morning. So you can schedule it to send out at certain times, just various things that you may not be aware of what it does. And so if you are interested in getting that maybe for your current job or a job you're looking for, we'd like you to join us on June 29th and June 30th. Our instructor is Ed Hall, who's one of our full-time faculty members, mm -hmm. and that is from one to four, and it does include a textbook. So the deadline for that would be actually um, next Tuesday, June 22nd, because we have to order the books and make sure they're here on time for class. And it, they will meet for two sessions. And the reason we do that is we give them um, time filled to, um, practice them at the office or at home, whichever it may be, and then come back with questions. But we'll still continue with the book, but that just gives them more time that they can still go play. Okay, what did he teach me? And then go home and play with it. Oh, that didn't work. Can you show me that again? So um, $79 includes a textbook. Okay. And, you know, people sort of take Outlook for granted, to be quite honest. You go in and, oh, it's just an email and I'll learn how to do it. But the fact of the matter is, is that Outlook is an incredibly powerful tool. And the more knowledge that you, you know, um, the better off you is. There's been more than one occasion, and I've been on Outlook, like you sort of said, is that trying to figure something out and saying, like, well, how do I do this? How do I do this? And email is just only the tip of the iceberg. And the more knowledge that you go, it really will give you an advantage going into a job. It's like, oh, I know how to do this and I can't do that. And be as, let's say, if you're doing some kind of secretarial work or administrative assistant work, that can give you such a heads up on that. And, um, you know, as they, continue, as they continue to grow that product, you know, you'll be, um, you'll definitely be ahead of the game. And it actually teaches that, it actually teaches that class for on campus for the students mm -hmm. so it's almost as if you're actually getting a um, you know class credit for that you know and he will he does a great and wonderful job and he is our uh, CIS instructor so. yeah and he's very patient he's one of those instructors you love to learn from and has um, great he'll give you some great pointers of um, shortcuts and things that you might want to know so uh, again, if you've been wanting to learn more about that, we definitely encourage you to enroll. And again, next Tuesday, the 22nd is the deadline, even though the class does not start to the 29th. And I think that it's, uh, you get a textbook with it and $79. I, yes. I think it's quite, it's really a good bargain for mm -hmm. knowing the actual uh, extras that, that you will get in that book. Exactly. Right, well, yeah. um, the last class for the month of June is our Kindness Rocks class. And it's kind of okay. funny because I've seen so much on social media already. We, were, we have already a good group already in that class. 
registered for the class. So if you're interested in coming and bringing your grandkids or your child, whichever, um, great opportunity to decorate some rocks and put some happiness in some people's lives. And definitely after the year we've had, people need that or just see that encouragement. I saw somebody put that, somebody actually put them on doors, like uh, right at the doorstep. Mm -hmm. So um, you could just do it for maybe a group of um, seniors that you know in your life or just some family members or maybe you want to go just leave some fun things that don't make them smile when they see that. And um, that is for um, Tuesday, June 29th from 6 to 9. And Sarah is doing that one as well. She's very artistic. She likes to do stuff like that. And that one's only $10 and all the materials are included. So, wow, great price. And materials are included, rocks, paint, all that. You just show up and have fun with um, family members or girlfriends or whoever you want to uh, invite to the class. Yeah, and it's a great, it's a great, you know, kind of release for that because you're painting these things and, you know, you're painting these because you want to show a little bit of kind, you want to show a little bit of creativity, you want to show a little bit of sunshine and you can just sort of, I know that I was on the side of us and they're leaving them like in the streets or they're leaving them in front of houses just to, you know, show them. It's like, what is this? And then they pick it up and it's just this piece of artwork that they're actually doing. So mm -hmm. it's absolutely, it's absolutely a really great idea. Yeah, they could do whatever they want. Like I said, artwork. I know uh, my daughter did some with a different group like several years ago. And behind her, she put a Bible verse. And so that was really neat and uplifting. Somebody may need that when they mm -hmm. see that. So whatever they want to do is their, their time in the classroom and they can be as creative as they want. And again, it's only $10. And what day is that again? That is Tuesday, the 29th. And it begins at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. And, and again, two hours. Okay, and again, it's only $10. You get to go hang, hang out with people, sort of relax on a Tuesday night. And, you know, it's, it's just, a, get, gets you a chance to get out and, and have a good time with that and sort of unveil your creativity. Yes. So all as right. for June, but those are the, um, all the classes we have up to June, but coming up in July, we have a whole slate of classes coming up, but we also have our big um event for us and that is yep. kids college and so hopefully people have seen stuff about that already that is a program that we've been offering this year is our 21st year because of covid we had to say 21 it would have been 22 mm -hmm. but uh we are just excited that we're able to offer it this summer so if you have a child going into first through eighth grade we are inviting them to the campus to join us for um classes they can be here from 8 to 12 15 or whatever time slot. If there's three different sessions, they don't have to attend all three sessions. But if you want to leave them here when you go to work and just pick them up right after, right before you go to lunch, that's a great way just to, um, you know, know that they're taken care of for half a day. Um, we do provide snacks and we will make sure they get from class to class safely. Now let's sort of talk a little bit about that. Um, you're, you're changing it a little bit from previous years and, um, you know, because we didn't have it last year, some people may have forgotten or, the, you know, they self -secure. So what are some of the changes that you're doing this year that you that you're changing from the previous? Well, in the, uh, well, in the last uh, several years, we've done it where they, you know, they could choose for two, choose two classes. They were in a classroom for at least two hours. Um, after visiting with our instructors, um, we we were hearing from them that uh, two hours is kind of a long time slot, especially when you're looking at like a dance class or a cheerleading class. And so, um, but most of our instructors said an hour would suffice per class. And so we're going to try that format and see how it works. So it allows them to take more classes. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's one of the biggest changes that we've made this year. Um, other than that, we're just kind of going with what our college is going to have us do with COVID guidelines, we do follow the CDC policy. Um, as long as they've been vaccinated, they don't have to wear a mask, but if they haven't, they do. Um, with the children right now, I know our COVID team is still kind of visiting. Um, currently it is gonna be mask required, but um, they're still visiting about kids' college. And so we're, we told our parents as they're registering them, we'll keep them posted uh, what the policies will be for the kids at, when they get on campus. Um, we may we may have um, registration outside in the big center of the over there in the circle. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know what the proper name is, but you may know that, Phil. Whatever this. Like the Happy Theater, or yeah, the, right in that circle area. We may have right. registration mm -hmm. there, or we may have it back where we typically have it in the union. So right. I told them to be um, aware, and we'll keep them informed with details on that. So. Um, when I talked to President Bennett, we're just following things step by, you know, just day by day on what um, mm -hmm. guidelines we need to follow as a college. Now, as a result, because of still COVID, are you guys limiting, is there a limited attendance for each class, limited sizes? Uh, 
Typically, we've had limited them even before COVID because um, mm -hmm. um, we've most of our classes, the, the, the max size has been 10, just so um, instructors can make sure to give the students the time that they need for their projects or whatever they're working mm -hmm. on. Um, if we ever get a registration over that, we've always approved that with the instructor, but I think our max will look at still would be 10, um, a minimum of six per class, so. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a really good idea to, to sort of limit it those to like an hour. And a lot of people say, well, you're not getting involved. But the fact is, is that kids get bored real quick a lot, even though when they're having a lot of fun. And yeah. so you don't want, a lot of times you just don't want them sitting around doing it because then after a while, you say, oh, what'd you do? Oh, you know, spend two hours just Yeah, just keeping around. their attention span um, yes. on that same project. So we, we decided we would try this and see how it worked. Um, some of the things we're still keeping the same as we're, we're, we're planning an open house after each session uh, mm -hmm. for those teachers that want to display what the students have learned or mm -hmm. if it's a dance class or a cheer class, they can show that. And um, we do have our gym reserved for that as well. Um, we have partnered again with Pizza Hut to do a pizza party and we will have our uh, pool party scheduled as well. Mm -hmm. So um, those are some things and um, our partnership with the Liberal Police Department have are still continued and they're doing the Who Done It class. And that one's really fun. I love to walk in there and they do the fingerprints, they mm -hmm. investigate people, they have people come in uh, from the community and they're the ones that they investigate the eyewitnesses and tell tell them what happened. And so who knows, someone out there, they may be calling you to see if you'll be part of this. It's, it's a lot of fun to watch that one. Another new partnership we have is with the Liberal Rec. Um, they have a, um, a really big robotics program that's <coughs> been kicking off. And so they asked if they could be part of our kids college program and they're only offering it for uh, second through third grade. And so if you're into robotics for your child, that's a great opportunity. So we appreciate them reaching. I want to be part of kids college and doing that partnership with us. Um, another part that robotics going to be on campus. Uh, yes, and actually, um, Ed Hall is doing the older kids too. So besides mm -hmm. the second through third, we have Ed Hall doing the older kids. Because Ed, again, we talked about him earlier. Um, he does some stuff with our high school kids, and even with the the college kids, they're starting to do more and more uh, different things with robotics and drones. And so Ed's going to do something with um, uh, robotics coding stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, and you're in the middle school age you will have a fantastic time with Ed. So don't pass that up if you, your child's available. I know kids have so many opportunities to do things, um, uh, especially in the, once they hit middle school, but we'd love to see them be part of that. Yeah, we, you know, this is certainly something that I think that has been missed, you know, last year, unfortunately, again, COVID and such, we couldn't do it, but I know that from, I've been told, you know, that a lot of parents will look forward to this, gives them something to do, gives their kids, you know, an opportunity to sort of do different things. Um, now, let's just go, to what, now, when's, uh, when is it again? It is scheduled for July the 19th through the 22nd. Uh, class sessions are 8 a.m., to 9.15, 9.30 to 10.45, and 11 a.m. to 12.15. Okay, so there are three sessions. And how much are the classes? They are $25 each. So really the cost for the classes has stayed the same. What, what it was for two will equal the same for three pretty much. So um, nothing's really changed on that. So um, and what are, we're really thankful for our sponsors. Uh, Walmart is one of our sponsors again because it takes a lot of supplies to um, get things for, especially our cooking classes, our science classes, stuff like that. So we're grateful for them. Billy's Airlines is one of our sponsors too. And um, we have a bowling class. Um, that one is actually filling up quickly. So if you're, your child's interested in learning to bowl or they just like to bowl and they want to be out there, um, Billy's has been doing this, which was, for, I'm thinking like four or five years you're already, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, partnering with us on the bowling class and they get to go out there and um, bowl. But I think, um, Mr. Johnson, the other reason I think is to just start getting people interested in liking the sport. So when they get into high school, maybe there'll be some possible athletes for the bowling team. Yeah. So that's great. So I, I think that it's going to be a, a lot of fun. And I know that we will look forward to it. What's the response so far? I mean, like, what have you been hearing from um, the parents and all and, you know, just in generality? 
Um, it's been kind of slow right now. Um, we've been trying to reach out to different people, but when people have seen the schedule, they do like what they're seeing. There's just so many different options, whether it's in an art class or we do offer swimming classes. I know our rec offers those as well, but we have it for, because I know they fill up quickly. So if your child doesn't get an opportunity to go there, we, we're another option and our pool is indoors. So uh, Whitney Hampton is one of our new instructors that's going to be doing that class for us. But I think the responses for the schedule and what they've seen has been really good. And um, we we just encourage people to try to register early. Um, we do accept registration up to the first day. But what I've told people, it, it's just, I, I hate seeing a child who's disappointed when they come and the class they wanted is full. So right. the sooner you get in to get your class uh, classes for your child, the better. Um, so you won't have that child who's disappointed because their class is no longer available to them. Yeah, I think one of the things is that, you know, slowly but surely we're trying to get back to normal. And I think it's just probably taking a little bit of time to get people back into the, the swing of things, you know. Um, yeah. So that there are other things that they're saying, like, well, you know, we can do this last year, so now we should do this. And there were so many choices for the people. But I think that without a doubt, um, the BNI um, Kids College is certainly a valuable resource to the communities, you know, for kids over there who don't have anything to do or want to expand their horizons and be, show their creativity and have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is definitely a way to do that at a great affordable price. Yes, and what I also share with people, um, Phil, is some of these classes turn into a talent that they could use to actually benefit them later. And we've had, uh, we have a crochet class that's going on by Chris Clausen, and she's done that before. And I know some of the girls personally who've used that skill and have made scars or other items and they've sold them at the Christmas craft show that we have here in Liberal. Mm -hmm. So a little bit money for them and a talent for them. My daughter's used it to make gifts. And, and so, and I've had some people in my family say, hey, can I buy one from you? And she, she tells them no, but they, they, they want to buy, pay for her time. But um, just another great way to put that skill, um, give your child that skill maybe they didn't have before. Yeah, definitely. It, it helps them in the future. You know, it's a skill that they can learn at the same time, too. It's all about having fun and learning something, you know. But yeah. more importantly, it's all about having fun. And we want them to enjoy themselves and have a good time. And if they, you know, learn something or if they get to showcase their talents in terms of dance or cheerleading that helps in the future to be a future saint you know that's great mm -hmm. well when you say that our cheerleading um instructor actually she was a high school cheerleader here and but she uh came and assisted one of our coaches several years ago when mm -hmm. she was in the middle school so she's excited i'm excited to have her back we've had um, teachers like that before who've gone through kids college because again it's his 21st year and they come back and teach for us it is kind of weird, you know, you get kids out over there 20 years ago, and then they're coming back at TIG teaching. It's like, wow, it makes you feel old. But at the same yes, time, it does, too. It, makes, it does make me feel old because one of the, <laughs> uh, um, the do eye doctor here in town, she taught, um, oh my goodness, I'm going to say her name wrong, but she works at Visions or I think it's Radcliffe or something. She, yeah, uh, Brianna Radcliffe. She, yeah, she taught a science class for me, and I said, oh my goodness, I go, do you remember teaching for me? And she's like, yes. <laughs> So yeah, I feel old. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you know, it's always just how you feel, but you're, but the fact is, is that you know it's just great that we actually have people, people who actually gone through this and are coming back and actually giving back, and, and that's just awesome. And you know, mm -hmm. so again, we see how, what a valuable resource that these these kids' college really is. Yeah. And so, you know, Phil, um, our college has opened back up for some of our um, sporting camps, which is great to see this week and mm -hmm. um, through the month of June. Um, Gino, our volleyball coach, is also going to do a kids college um, passing camp for us. And then we have uh, Amanda Collins doing a basketball camp for us at, during kids college. And then we have uh, Carmen Levins doing a, a, a fast pitch softball class. So mm -hmm. Uh, if you have a child interested in any of those, just there's just another opportunity if you're not able to do June with um, our community college um, coaches. Other than I said, Gina will be back in July for us. So I was excited. He said, yeah, I'll do one. So <laughs> um, do you also, are you guys also have an archery class? Yes, we do have an archery and Craig has been, I've been like, since I've been here, Craig's been doing it. I think he's been doing it even before that. Um, mm -hmm. So if your child's never done archery or likes it, I know the kids that are in there always enjoy the archery class. He does a lot of instructional time as well as hands-on just to make sure mm -hmm. they know the safety piece. But um, and I believe it's only done for one time slot. So you need to make sure of your child, because that's one of those classes that does fill up is the archery class as well. 
Right. Craig does a great job with it. And like so I said, well, people sort of think it's about I'm just shooting arrows. A lot of big part of it is safety. Yeah. Seriously. I know uh, been up over there and he teaches a lot that, yeah, it's like a gun. You don't go ahead and point arrows at people. And so he just teaches you all those things and all the basics. But again, it's about having fun and he puts it, presents it in a great way. And it, it is a lot of fun um, showing how to actually an accomplishment when you actually shoot a bow and arrow. It's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. And it's not as easy as it looks. I've tried. If you, yes. I'm like, <laughs> I've tried. I'm like, oh my goodness, how do they do this? So it takes some skill and some work, but they'll get it before they're done. Yeah. Can you just go over and just shoot off some of the classes that we have um, just to give the people just a little bit of, uh, yeah. yeah. And we talked about some, but the one we have acrylic painting and right. Kareem Gayo, who's teaching adult classes for us, is doing that one as well. Glass staining um, with Korean Gayo, Mexican and Korean culture. And that'll be a fun one. Origami, uh, watercolor painting, breakfast cooking basics. Two of our classes that are dealing with cooking, the other one's eat your way around the world. There'll be pretty much classes that your child can learn to do something. The first one will be a little bit, we'll be using some hot items to, to cook with. But the other one is not. So they'll you can pick your choose. You know, you don't you're not ready for your child to be around a height like a hot skillet or anything. Right. Um, we had the other option as well, things that they can make when mom and dad aren't home. So those are some options. Um, we talked about the coding the Lego class with Ed and the robotics class. Um, bowling, cheerleading, a dance class. So your child likes to dance. Uh, nothing but net, softball basics, swim lessons, and volleyball pass perfect. Right, so we just have we just basically cover the game of that over there. We've got a lot of um, creativity, a lot of athletics, and just a lot of fun stuff, just in general, for, that they, the kids can sort of do. Yeah. So one thing I want to parents to know, um, Phil, is there is a different form that needs to fill out. Uh, parents need to fill out for anybody that's under the age of eighteen. We do mm -hmm. have a notary in our office, so they don't have to go search one down. So it's easier if they just come to our office. And again, we're um, under summer. The college work is working under summer hours currently. So we are here Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And we do have a notary here. And if you have one in your office, that's fine. But it's easier if you just come, do all the paperwork, get your child registered and paid for, and do, Jennifer can notarize your paperwork. Right. And if you need any kind of information, you can actually go to the secc.edu website and actually go on to one of the flyers and you'll see all the things at Kids College. Click on the link and it'll bring up to the brochure and all the information of every single um, class that is being taught out over there. And I suppose that there's a possibility that there could be other classes coming up, maybe, right? Yeah, maybe. We've had some people, if, we, if some people call and say, can we add something on or do something, we'll definitely, if we can work it in, we will. Right. All right. Um, well, it sounds like you, you have an actually incredibly full June and you're going to have a great some more classes in July. And yeah. obviously the big thing with uh, kids college in, at the middle of the month, it's going to be great. You know, just we think that the summer we, you know, we're educators and we get and we get the uh, summer off. Uh, <laughs> I, that's why you guys say, huh? <laughs> yeah, not no, no, no here. So but if they need to get a hold of us, well, they can call us at our office, our main number for business and industry is 16. 420-417-1170 and that'll ring to Jennifer or myself so one of us should be able to pick up as long as we're both here we can do that and answer any questions we're located at the industrial tech campus and they can come to our office and ask questions as well okay great um Norma Jean it was a pleasure having you and we will see you next uh, probably at the end of the month where you can go ahead and we can sort of talk a little bit more about some more classes when is your next um classes in July when do they start you have like um, one on like July 1st, the 2nd? It'll probably be when I'm thinking about it, because I looked at it today, it's not the first full week of July, but the second week, because we kind of figured some people are gone for 4th of July. So right. we didn't put anything that first week of the 5th. So the week after, we'll have like Excel Level 2, mm -hmm. uh, a CDL seminar, and we'll have other classes as well. I think there's one on um, planning for uh, your funeral. Um, I know that's not a fun topic but mm -hmm. things that you may have are questions because I know when my dad passed away there were so many questions and you know that was really the first close uh, death in my family so things that you might want to have and ask ahead of time so you're not doing that when you're there and maybe mm -hmm. even prepare for that earlier so your family members don't have to do that so we have some things like that we have a makeup class a lot of different things right and again you know 
BNI is great because again, being part of Stuart Community College, we think, we think a lot about academics and it's not. Your office gives some great life skills, some great recreational skills, just a lot of personal services too, you know, just awesome. And so we will have you over at the end of the month out over there so you can okay. give people a great head start on, um, on all the classes in July. And it was great to see you, Norma Jean. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much. Have a great day.